So when you see Brett go down as the play caller, what goes through your mind, maybe as coach, and also looking forward, what as you know how the offense is going to change without him? You know, I'd like to say that I, I grab my cell phone and, and punch my Uber app to get a ride, but uh, um, see, I gotta say that because then I get free Uber points from the Uber <laughs> people. No, but you know, I mean, I mean, Jerry's been in the system just as long as Brett. Um, I mean, he's always been there. He's 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 had really had a good camp. Yeah, you know. It, um, you think, well, okay, I'm going to cut the game plan down a little bit. And, uh, I mean, unbelievable. You just, I mean, Jerry went out and handled the situation better than, than anybody, than, than anyone could. I mean, he really did an awesome job. Really proud for him. Happy for the way he played. What did you see that made you call that double move at the end there? Um, well, I kind of seen, I kind of, it was kind of on, in the, like right on the tip of my tongue about for two drives. And I was just kind of waiting for the right time. And I was talking to JP about it. And, you know, then they started playing this little, little man. And I, and I thought that, hey, we get, if we're going to take a shot, this is how we're going to take a shot with him. And uh, <coughs> Jerry made a great throw and JP made, ran a great route. Were you surprised at all that Texas wasn't really adapting or adjusting at all to you guys' screen passes? Um, oh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know about that. I just call plays. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How much did it help Jerry out to have Paul, you know, break out so yeah, well? Yeah, Paul, Paul, nice job, Paul. I, I, I tell you, I'm happy for, I, I was really fired up about Paul and JJ. I thought both of them really ran behind their pads. You know, and they kept getting us the fours and the fives and the fours and the fives. And, you know, we were going to be in that mode to grind it out, you know, and take our shots when the shots, you know. Um, and the, the outside kids, I thought, did a really good job um, blocking on our screen, little screen game outside. Uh, so, you know, I, I thought the kids just, they went out and they just played their butts off. I was really proud for them. Was that I like called the same four plays the whole second half. So it, wasn't <laughs> like it, was, it wasn't like it was hard on my part. <laughs> was the offensive line maybe opening up holes more, more so than they did the last two games? Yeah, you know what? Um, like I said, we're like we know we're a tempo team, so when we can kind of when can we can kind of make a, a first down, then another first down in the course of a drive, we kind of get going. And um, and what those guys, this is this is like you know, I was happy to see that the, our offensive line really started to get a feel for the whole, you know, for the whole run game. And the back started kind of pressing the right gaps and playing behind their pads. And uh, you know, Nate came in and did some really good stuff for us at the tight end spot. You were saying earlier this week that the running game wasn't quite where you wanted it to be yet. Do you feel like it's at that point now? No, you know, I don't think it's where we exactly want it what it is, but I think we took a, a, a little bit of a step tonight. You think it's really important to take that step tonight, especially with Brett oh, going yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, New went in there and, and, and really, you know, played to his strengths. You know, the rest of the kids stepped up and, and did some really good things to help him, and he made some key decisions for us. It was awesome. Right. 